Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss class Reptilia and order Testudines. Order Testudines include very peculiar and uh, such animal which are very different from all other animals of the kingdom Animalia. These animals are usually known as turtles and tortoises. So let's discuss their structure in in detail. So first of all, I have already made a diagram for you of a turtle. So this is a anatomy of a tortoise or a turtle. Basically, testudines mean tortoise, but we are going to discuss turtle and tortoises all together in the same topic. So first of all, we are going to discuss their body structure. Their body structure include a very special shell, which is known as carapace. Carapace is present is a dome like structure shell which is present on the dorsal surface of the body of the turtle and tortoises. I have taken a diagram of uh, carapace right over here as you can see over here and this carapace can be uh, divided depending upon the type of species. It could be heavier or it could be lighter. It is usually made up of keratin protein and dermal bones. Usually more than 50 plus bones add up together along with keratin protein to build a very uh, strong structure, very strong shell which is known as uh, carapace. Carapace has multiple regions which are known as plates like structures which are present in the shells which, protize, which, pro which provide very very uh, strength to this shell. So ossified ribs also uh, are in associated with this structure and dermal bone all together join together and form a structure. This uh, structure present on the dorsal surface protects the internal organs, bones, muscles of the animal. On the ventral surface which is the belly side of the body there is also present a shell like structure which is known as plastron but this is not as strong as the uh, carapaces. So it is much thinner, much softer and flexible structure. Uh, present on the ventral side of the body which is known as plastron which is also made up of keratin protein and some about 9 or 10 bones which are associated with this structure. Uh, this plastron provide flexibility to the appendages so that they can move inside and outside of the shell. Animal lives in between these two shells and uh, remain the, uh, attached with these two shells and the body of the uh, animal cannot be uh, cannot be separated from these two shells. Only the up front and uh, uh, backward back appendages, hind limbs and fore limbs and head and neck can be retracted out from the shell and then retracted back into the uh, shell. Now let's we are let's discuss the internal structure or anatomy of the turtles and tortoises. So I have already made a diagram for you. So in the diagram the blue shape the black shape of the diagram shows the carapace which is the uh, shell which is present on the dorsal surface of the body and I have taken the cross section of this body inside uh, in this diagram you can see the red part of the diagram shows the internal skeleton of the uh, turtles. So let's start with the anterior and on the anterior surface there is a skull just like other animals skull is made up of specialized bones which are present in the skull upper uh, mandible lower mandible jaws and jaws all together form a structure which is known as beak beak is help in the process of feeding and uh, this beak does not contain any teeth but it is horny so that they can pick up food particles. So in the uh, at the posterior end of the beak there starts uh, vertebrae which are known as uh, cervical vertebrae. Cer cervical vertebrae are 8 in number and especially which are very important uh, characteristics of this order. There are 8 in number which are known as cer uh, cervical vertebrae which make neck region of the turtle. Uh, these uh, special uh, cervical vertebrae are specialized in such a shape that they can form S shape wriggle during the retraction of their neck into the shell. So when uh, ever they face an enemy, uh, so in response to the uh, uh, threat from the enemy, the animal uh, retract its head and neck back into the shells. Remember that not all the turtles and tortoises can uh, retract back their neck and shells some of the species can do that. So that, that they, how they do it, they uh, 
move their uh, cervical vertebrae in such as in a manner that it forms s shape structure and pulls the head and neck into the shell so that and they can be protected from the enemy just uh, <clears throat> uh, posterior to the cervical vertebrae there is a region which is known as pectoral girdle pectoral girdle is similar to all other vertebrates which in which are attached with the four limbs as you can see there are two limbs on the left and right side of the body these are known as four limbs humerus radius ulna carpals metacarpal and they also have phalanges and uh, they which can form feet which for moving on the land in tortoises and flipper like structure which is uh, present in the turtles which uh, sea turtles which have ability to swim in the water uh, just beneath the <clears throat> just posterior to the uh, uh, pectoral girdle there are uh, uh, thoracic vertebrae and lumbar vertebrae these thoracic and lumbar vertebrae originate ribs on both lateral sides these ribs are ossified and fuse with the uh, carapace to form uh, a protective shell and give the protection to the animal posterior to the uh, lumbar and uh, thoracic vertebrae there is a region of uh, pelvic girdle pelvic girdle same ad adaptation ischium pubis etc bones which are uh, then uh, hind limbs are attached with this pelvic girdle hind limbs include the similar pattern like tibia fibula tarsals metatarsal and other bones which help to form hind limbs which also originate from the pelvic girdle and can move out of the shell and then can retract it back into the shell during a danger uh, on the posterior side of the pelvic girdle there are caudal vertebrae which forms a tail region and a small tail is also present in the so in similar way there are muscular system and other body function which are present inside the a body of the turtles but we are not going to discuss right now we are only discuss, going to discuss a uh, briefly the skeleton of the uh, testudines now let's discuss some uh, important features of testudines first of all where they are located uh, there are more more than 300 species of testudines present all over the world more, uh, some scientists believe that there are 360 species and some say more than 300 etc whatever reason is that uh, tortoises and turtles are present all the way they are all the way in the world except antarctica they are present uh, in uh, oceans they are present in seas they are present on land water rivers canals ponds they are found everywhere usually they contain the specialist thing the special thing about them they contain bony shell which is made up of uh, carapace and plastron made up of keratin protein and bones they contain eight cervical vertebrae which already you have discussed in the neck region they have they have eight vertebrae which make a cervical vertebrae which can twist into s shape structure to withdraw their neck into the shell they usually live a long lives most of the uh, turtles live around 15 to 20 years but most of uh, some of them can survive up to 40 to 50 years but uh, some turtle of galapagos island can survive up to more than 100 years if we look at the reproduction they usually do uh, they are oviparous egg laying reptiles so they are amniotes fertilization is taking place in water which is internal fertilization after fertilization eggs are laid by female on the beach at and, and the female burrows are digs a hole with the help of their feet or flippers then laid more than 50 to 100 eggs inside this uh, which is known as clutch of eggs after that uh, female buried egg with sand and then leave the nest alone and move away in the nest uh, uh, development takes place and the newborn offsprings are produced uh, uh, the shells of the eggs are leathery and that offspring comes out they go in search of water and start living their own life independently without any taking care of their parents such uh, uh, testudines which live in water let's say such like sea turtles which are mostly green turtles and they usually have uh, flipper like uh, webbed feet so, so that they can easily swim in the water these are known as turtles while those testudines which live on land usually do not have webbed feet or flippers they usually have legs uh, front legs and back flap which help them to walk on the soil but they cannot walk very much fast they are very slow animals so such animals uh, such testudines are known as tortoises tortoises are a little bit heavier and bigger in the size as compared to turtles they are omnivorous they can eat algae seaweeds they can eat small insects uh, in the water with the help of their beak which is horny do not contain any teeth 
and with the help of beak they can uh, rip apart food particles. Uh, they usually are known as cold blooded because they cannot maintain their body temperature that is why they are known as ectotherm when their body temperature becomes low they come outside the water they bask in the sun gain heat and perform their daily activities again so they can they maintain they cannot maintain their body temperature they uh, adopt a uh, body temperature according to the uh, their their environment where they are living so that's all for today i hope it makes sense and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye